Have you ever been told that you're not an athlete and that bowling is just a joke? Yep, I also know the feeling. On the professional level, it is an extremely complicated game. We're talking copious amounts of physics. Well, what makes those guys better than the people that I'm watching? They're bowling higher scores. What's the playing field? To make things even more difficult, that environment is constantly changing. Because oil is a physical substance, well, the bowling ball is affecting the position of the oil. What's going on, my fellow athletes? My name is Sandro Perrino, and I want to officially welcome you to our first video ever. Kind of. Today, I wanted to go ahead and tell you everything you need to know about athletic bowling so far. So let's go. First of all, what is athletic bowling? Athletic bowling is the brand that aims to become the true representation of millions of bowlers around the world who want recognition as athletes. Bowling is surely a tough sport to practice and even harder to master. That's why it is so frustrating for bowlers when they are not recognized as athletes, myself included. And that's why it is really frustrating when bowling is not even recognized as a sport. Which brings me to the most daunting question for us. Is bowling a sport? An elite bowler, which is a person that competes professionally and bowls 6 to 15 games per day or even more, will tell you that, of course, bowling is a sport. A league bowler, which is a person that competes on a league every week, is most likely also going to tell you that bowling is a sport. However, there is this big percentage of people that go out with a couple of friends and go out bowling just for fun and they have a couple of drinks and, of course, they're going to tell you that bowling is not a sport. And that is just simply because they don't experience the sport the same way that others do. It is just that simple. If you don't want to believe me, that's totally okay. So let's just hear it from the pros. A lot of people that come up and say bowling's not a sport or they kind of think it's a funny you know, hobby or whatnot, I just basically look at them and say, why don't you go try it? They can come on out and bowl the World Series and they can bowl 12 games a day for five, five consecutive days and, and see how they feel. And then, and then say, say it's not a sport. I tell them to come out and bowl 50 games in a week with a 16-pound ball and let me know how their body feels at the end of the week. There are times that I go out, have a couple of beers, and just throw a couple of games with some friends. To me, that's not sport. That's entertainment. But on our level, we don't even love bowling sometimes because it's so painful to us, because we have so much invested. All right, what is a sport? Next thing you're gonna tell me, golf's a sport. All they do is swing the club, they don't even carry their bag. I take LeBron James, I bowled with him at his Chris Paul celebrity event, and uh, you know, he looked like a fish out of water. He just didn't quite have the skills, but yet he gets on a basketball court and he, he may be one of the best ever. You can say whatever you wanna say, but come out here and do what we do. And if you can beat us at, at this non-sport and, and compete what we do, then you can tell me after you're done. I mean, we bowl really long days and you have to be in good shape. I've never ever competed in a, in a tournament and and felt like I wasn't I wasn't bowling in a sport. I didn't think I was a joke, I didn't think it was a game. The, uh, the busted up fingers, the sore legs, the sweat. It's the most difficult game in the world. I never thought I was going to say this, but I will create another video in which I'll go more in depth explaining why bowling is a sport. So make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are the first to know whenever I release the new video. By the way, if you're still watching this video, please click the like button to let me know that you like the video and of course, it will help us reach more people on YouTube. Moving on. Here are just the facts. To become an elite bowler, it requires mental and physical strength, conditioning, flexibility, stability, and just way too many years of experience and practice. Sure, you could argue and tell me that you have seen bowlers on TV that are just out of shape and in the sense that they are too big or too skinny or, just, or they just don't look like athletes. And although you have your own reasons to think that way, those same bowlers who are out of shape are also in great conditioning shape basically to withstand 
five plus hours of bowling for five days in a row under challenging conditions. Now, if you're wondering what are those challenging conditions? I mean, again, I'm going to let the pros explain it to you. On the professional level, it is an extremely complicated game. We're talking copious amounts of physics. chemistry that go into a bowling ball that you have to learn. It's the most difficult game in the world. Scoring environment and bowling is I think where uh, most of the viewers are a little bit confused. Because they go in and they watch their scratch league locally and 25 guys in the place average 230. Nobody's ever averaged 230 on the PBA Tour for a year, ever. Well, what makes those guys better than the people that I'm watching? They're bowling higher scores. What's the playing field? To make things even more difficult, that environment is constantly changing. Because oil is a physical substance, well, the bowling ball is affecting the position of the oil. So the best way to truly describe it is imagine you and I step up on the first hole of a golf course and I go first. And I know the bunker is on the left and the water is on the right and the green is right in the middle. I play the hole, I execute it, I get a par. Now it's your turn to come up, but now I've just changed all of the environment, but you don't know it. So you think the bunker's on the left and the water's on the right, but now I've changed the water to the left, the bunker right in the middle of the fairway. Now the optimum place to throw or hit the ball is to the right side, but you don't know it. You hit the ball down the middle thinking it's a great shot. Oops, sorry, we now have a bunker there. That's what makes bowling incredibly difficult. Moving on, why did I create athletic bowling? To begin with, I have been a bowler basically since I can remember. So pretty much my whole life. Basically, I started competing when I was five years old, which means that as of today, I have about 23 years of experience in competitive bowling. I have traveled and competed in five different countries across the world. And yes, I have been experiencing bowling as a sport throughout all this time. So this whole idea of athletic bowling started back in 2017 when bowling was making a strong run to get into the Olympic Games. Back then, I wanted to create a movement to support the cause and basically make sure that bowling got inducted into the Olympic Games for the very first time. Therefore, I created what was called Olympic Bowling Official. Fast forward a year, in 2018, I had to shut down the whole idea just because, well, I couldn't keep up with it and I couldn't really make it happen. Then, in early 2019, I thought about retaking on the idea and I was determined to make something even better for my Kafton project uh, during my master's degree. And that's when Athletic Bowling was born in March, March of that year. And now, here we are. So, to answer the question, why did I create Athletic Bowling? Let's be honest. I created Athletic Bowling because I was tired of not truly being recognized as an athlete. And I was also tired to think that one day, when I become a true professional bowler, other people look at me on TV and think that what I do is just a joke. What I would really like to happen is that most people understand and think of bowlers as athletes whenever they see bowlers on TV, um, whether they are in South America, whether they are in the US or in Africa, in Europe, wherever they are in the world, I would like to most people just recognize bowlers when they see them on TV as athletes. I could give you a hundred thousand reasons more, but I gotta keep this video short, so let's move on. What is the meaning behind the Athletic Bowling logo? Athletic Bowling's logo symbolizes one of the two pillars of our sport, a bowling pin. The pin has five stripes, each one of them representing a continent with athletes, just like the five rings of the Olympic Games. The main color of the pin is gold, as it symbolizes the maximum prize for winning an athletic competition, the gold medal. So what is my mission and my vision 
with athletic bowling. Obviously, I wanted to create something meaningful, so this is what I came up with. Our mission is to promote the recognition of bowlers as athletes by creating global awareness so that bowling is always recognized for what it truly is, a sport. And then of course, our vision is to become the voice of millions of bowlers worldwide. And there you have it. This is everything you needed to know about athletic bowling so far. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something new in this video. If you liked it, just go ahead and click on the like button so that it can reach even more people and we can spread the word. I know that you want that for the sport as much as I do. And if not, well, I don't know what you're doing watching this video. All right, my fellow athletes, that was it for this video. My name is Sandro. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next time, ci vediamo. Hasta la prossima. Bye bye. I don't know what to say. Ciao, ciao. I always wanted to do that.